Hello, ladies. Welcome. Today's topic is about you experiencing maybe um, the issue that when you're dating, men might only invite you over to the home, want to you know have sex with you, and just want some intimacy. And if you set your boundary of no, they are ghosting, and you're feeling left alone rejected, abandoned, and not good enough of receiving love and attention just for the person that you are and feeling like you can't receive any attention and love if you have boundaries. So if you're facing this issue, this video is for you. And um, it can also be related in other areas of life where you feel like, okay, if I'm not useful to another person, they will ghost me, okay? So let's go deeper in here, yeah? I have so many clients who face this issue when they are dating men only um, wanting to invite them over a home date on the first date, wanting them to like have sex or start like some real sexting and sex talk. And it's all about this. And if the woman doesn't provide that or she says no, he's gone and ghosting her. And she feels unworthy of all of that. And literally, I faced the same as well um, when I started all this in our work and when I was dating. Um, even though, you know, being in my 20s kind of made me feel um, attractive, attractive to men. I feel like I don't really want to be pretty or be seen as attractive because I felt like then men only want to like have sex with me and there I got approach of I'm getting approach of so low value men and if I say no um you know then they are gone and if I um, say yes then I feel like I'm being literally abused because I don't want to say yes yeah my boundaries to do not do it until a full commitment so what's going on here and how you can you turn this around for yourself okay but if you're facing that you're like so glad dating you want to have a husband and you're saying no and men are ghosting your test videos for you and um I want you to know that there's a way out of that okay because I could transform, yeah? Men want to give me the word, even I didn't touch the hand yet. There is no sexuality involved and you still can inspire men to be there for you, step up for you, pay for you, call you, text you, um, schedule dates. And you can also do it in other people because when you learn how to be the feminine version of you, when you can learn to to ignite his passion and when you can learn how to trigger his gut level um gut level spark and gut level feeling for you then he will want to be with you okay so he will be feel super attracted on the emotional level we have three things we have like the uh, mental level so when we talk very logically like mathematics and stuff then we have like this um sexual level so when you are um you know, a very attractive woman, men usually also feel attracted to you sexually, yeah? And then, um, yeah, and then they want sex. And then we have the last part, and that is the sexual, um, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And the last part is the emotional connection, yeah? So when you can really, really get his gut level um, instinct to want to be with you, okay? So for inspiring a man to want to be with you and give you the world, even that you don't give him anything sexually, we have to go on the emotional level, yeah? We have to go into your feelings. We have um, to train to be in your feminine energy. And then you will see that you will inspire masculine action in men. So how does it look like? It looks like um, men wanting to cook for you. I literally just got a message. I want to cook for you and bring you the food. Can I do that? 
yeah, <laughs> men can um, do, do all the things for you. Like they will just get all the ideas how to be in your um, close to you because when you can inspire them to feel emotionally connected to you, they don't need the mental connection. They have they have friends. Yeah, even the sexual connection doesn't keep them um, high value. But if you know how to inspire the emotional connection, they will want to give you the world. Because men are naturally always in the head and they want to be in the body. Okay, so how can you, how can you learn to inspire his masculine energy? Yeah, you practice you practice being in your body, you practice feeling, yeah, so when you talk to him, you talk in feeling messages, oh, it makes me so feel, it makes me feel so good when you buy me these flowers, oh, it makes me feel so good when you are, um, you know, calling me, texting me, and a high value man will want you to feel good all the time, so he will make all the things to make you happy, okay, so you're literally connected to your feelings, and yes, there are sometimes men who would just like laugh at you oh, why are you feeling like this or that would uh, not care about your feelings. They're like, why are you feeling like this? I don't care about this. But this is not the right man for you, okay? This is an uh, emotionally unavailable man and he um, he's not the right one for you, yeah? So he doesn't know how to cherish feelings. But I'm going to talk about this another time. But literally, it's learning how to be in your body and it's learning how to connect on an emotional level. And you can, of course, read some stuff about it or listening to my um, videos and you will for sure learn something about this. However, the fastest way to learn how to inspire this in men, but all other people, is to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with me because there I can really see what are your blockages. I can see... Um, what's holding you back and I can see what can you do next to reach this level okay so if you're interested DM me for a free love assessment call and um, we are going to do a plan what you can do next in order to reach your goals okay so it's free you can't lose anything and I'm very happy to get to know you so DM me and I talk to you soon